What's grown on gardeners? It's Sunday, August 21st, and it is a humid day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. Today, I'm going to share with you all exactly why it is so difficult to ripen good quality figs in locations that get significant rainfall in the summer, and also share with you five different varieties of figs I find are the most rain resistant that you should seriously consider growing for the best possible harvest if you deal with rainfall in your summers. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. Fig trees are endemic to the Mediterranean and as a result, they evolved to tolerate the very unique climatological effects of Mediterranean climates. The problem is that Mediterranean climates only make up approximately 3% of the land mass of the entire planet. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you reside on the other 97% of the land mass. The thing that makes Mediterranean climate so unique is their very particular seasonal rainfall pattern. They get almost all of their precipitation in the fall and the winter, and their summers are almost bone dry. In most Mediterranean climates, it is virtually impossible for them to get summer rain. The chances of precipitation go to nearly zero. And for that reason, the fruits on the fig trees evolved to ripen in almost perfectly rainless conditions. So when you live in a climate that has any precipitation at all during the summer, you can run into problems if your figs are trying to ripen during the rain. For that reason, when rainfall touches the skin of a fig, it can have devastating consequences. We just got a major rainstorm, 4.95 inches of rain, and that has had an absolutely devastating effect on all of my figs that were in the process of ripening. When there is a significant rainfall event in the summer, it is not unusual for your figs to completely burst like this. And what happens is after they burst, they then become magnets for fruit flies like SWD. They come in and they lay their eggs and then you have a huge pest infestation in your orchard. Figs are absolutely one of my favorite fruits on the planet, and as a result, I'm growing fig trees all over my yard. They are planted in ground, they are planted in containers, I even have a fig tree breeding experiment going on. And when you add up all of these different fig trees that I have growing throughout my property, I have close to a hundred fig trees growing as we speak. And a lot of viewers always ask me, what do I do with all of these figs? And I have to tell them, well, I lose the overwhelming majority of them because we have an inverse Mediterranean climate here where we get most of our dry weather in the winter, spring, and fall, and we get deluge thunderstorms during the summer when the figs are trying to ripen. And as a result, I lose many of these figs to rainfall. While the summers where I live do have a higher rainfall rate and precipitation percentage than most places on the planet, the overwhelming majority of places on the planet do deal with significant rainfall in the summer. So if you're like me and you're trying to grow figs, chances are rain in the summer is a reality. And it can be incredibly frustrating to have some beautiful figs you've waited all season long ripening on your plant only for a thunderstorm or another rain event to come in and destroy your crop. So what exactly can you do about it? Aside from packing up and moving to a drier climate or building a giant high tunnel to grow all your fig trees under to protect them from the rain, the only thing you can really do is select rain resistant fig varieties. While there are no foolproof fig varieties when it comes to developing and ripening in rain, all varieties are susceptible. Some varieties are less susceptible to cracking, splitting, and souring than others. And I'm going to share five varieties that I've had some pretty good success with in my extreme rainfall summer climate. And I'm pretty confident that if I can grow these varieties successfully, you can as well. If you live in a climate where summer rain is a problem, the number one fig that I'd recommend that you have to grow hands down is the original Celeste fig. You will find the Celeste fig planted all over the southern United States very commonly for a very specific reason. And that's because this is the closest to bulletproof fig that I have ever grown. I have never had one of the Celeste figs split or sour on me ever, no matter how frequently and how much it rains. So if you deal with rainfall as a common problem in your summer climate, this is the only variety I can truly 
we tell you probably will not split or sour on you and you will get a harvest off of this tree. And as a bonus, it is also the earliest fig I have ever grown as well. It is not uncommon for main crop figs to ripen in late June, early July. So if you need a tree that will not let you down no matter the circumstances, the best variety to try is probably the good old fashioned Celeste fig. The second fig that I'm going to recommend that you grow if you deal with rainfall in the summer is the good old fashioned Chicago hardy tree. This is also one of the most common varieties out there and the reason why is much to the same reason that Celeste is very common. It is very rain resistant, it's also very early and it can be grown in climates that have shorter cooler summers as well. This is not as rain resistant as Celeste, however I have found it is probably the second most reliable fig in my collection. And that's great because it is incredibly common just like Celeste. You can pick up the cuttings almost anywhere for almost nothing and you can walk into a lot of big box stores and pick up a tree right off the shelf. So if you deal with significant rainfall in your summer climate, I recommend you have Chicago Hardy as a foolproof no matter what I'm going to get some kind of harvest off of this tree. The third fig variety that I'm going to recommend if you live in a climate that has significant summer rainfall is Olympian. Olympian is one of my most reliable figs and the thing I like about this fig is that it is very different than most other figs. This fig is not only large and can easily grow into the 60 to 100 gram re uh, region regularly, but it also tastes unlike any other fig that I'm growing. This fig tastes just like peaches and honey, and I don't have any other figs that have that flavor profile. So this is quite unique, despite the fact it is extremely common. I bought this tree actually from Lowe's, and I think it cost me something like $12, and it's one of my best producers. Now, I find this variety to be extremely rain resistant. It does not split or crack almost never anyway. The only problem is that sometimes the eye on it can get fairly open, especially during rainstorms if it forces it to swell uh, very quickly due to excessive rainfall. So this variety is not as reliable as Celeste or Chicago Hardy. However, it's worth adding to the list because it's so common and it's still one of the best performers with a very unique flavor profile in my opinion. It's one that I grow for reliability because I know that I'm always going to get a decent harvest off of this tree, even if the rest of my so-called higher quality figs are a bit of a flop due to a bad wet year. Those three fig varieties that I just named for you are, in my opinion, must-haves for any fig collection because not only are they very reliable in the rain and they fruit very quickly, they're some of the earliest figs as well, but they're also super easy and cheap to get. The cuttings and the trees sell for almost nothing and they can be found all over the internet. The downside to those varieties are they are not super premium varieties when it comes to taste. They are generally more simplistic, sweeter figs that don't have this deep depth of flavor that some of the other more premium complex figs have. The problem with the more premium complex figs is that they are harder to find that are early and that can tolerate rainfall. They're usually fussier varieties that take longer to ripen and the rain can destroy a harvest very quickly. However, I found two varieties that I think are closer to top tier in flavor that do very well and get good marks in all of those categories. And I think for that reason, they're worth getting. So the fourth variety that I'm going to recommend to you is Smith. Now Smith used to be considered a more high-end variety. It has become much more common over the years and it's common for a very good reason. It is early, it is very rain resistant, and it is very complex for how early and rain resistant it is. Now Smith is what I would call a strawberry fig. I think it has an interior that's kind of like strawberry pancake syrup and it is one of my favorites. If you live in the humid south, I think you have to grow this because it's probably one of the most reliable Adriatic type figs that can handle our climate. And for those of you with shorter climates, this tends to ripen as well. So I think this is one that you really need to consider. It's the very first fig tree I planted in ground here. It's my anchor fig uh, that is of higher quality that I can always rely on to get a good harvest. Now it's important to note that the Smith variety is not as reliable in rain as the other three that I just told you. However, I think it makes up for it 
when it comes to flavor. Uh, when it does get too much rain, the eye can become very open and it can attract SWD and other types of fruit flies. So bagging them with organza bags is pretty important. However, because this is such a prolific tree and it ripens so quickly, you will get a pretty good harvest off of this tree during dry spells in between thunderstorms. So I can always get good quality high-end figs off of this tree and that's why I recommend it. For as long as I've been growing figs, I've been trying to find a top tier fig variety that has a rich, jammy, deep, syrupy, complex berry interior that just blows my mind when it comes to flavor that can actually tolerate the rainfall in my climate. And while I definitely have found varieties that are much better than others, none of them have truly blown me away where I could recommend them in good conscience. However, I think I am really close to recommending this one. So I wanted to throw a closer to top tier variety in there that I think has a ton of potential. And my fifth variety that I'm gonna put on this list is Colonel Littman's Black Cross. This variety is still a little bit harder to find, but I wouldn't call it rare. It's becoming more and more popular for very good reason. This is the third year I've been growing this tree, and it has been a very slow grower and slow to fruit. It also took a ton of cold damage one year, so it's way behind. However, this year I finally got a harvest off of this tree, and the fruits that I'm getting off of it are very impressive to me. The fruits that I'm getting off this tree this year have been close to top tier quality and the properties are blowing me away. The fruits, as you can see, have a very tight eye, yet they are also very large. These are 50 gram plus figs, so it's very unusual to see figs this large that have tight eyes. And what is amazing is the five inches of rainfall that we got the other day did not split any of these fruits. The fruits kept a perfectly tight eye and I was able to pick them and while they were considerably underripe, the flavor still blew me away. Even probably two or three days away from being properly ripened, the flavor was as good as many of my other figs when they're perfectly ripe. So while I still need to gain a little bit more experience on this tree, I think this may be the best shot to grow a top tier variety, super complex fig that does well in the humid south. So I really recommend that everybody take a look into this variety, watch some videos on this variety, maybe on Harvey's channel, and, uh, which is Figaholics, and really evaluate this one strongly because I think this one has tremendous potential in wet, humid climates, and it doesn't seem to be all that late of a fig either. So there's a lot of versatility for so many growers out there. And in terms of taste, it's one of my favorites so far. And that right there is why it's difficult to grow and ripen figs in summer climates that get significant rainfall and five varieties that I think you should seriously consider if summer rainfall is negatively impacting the ripening of your figs. So everybody, I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you're notified when we release more videos like these. If you're curious about any of the products that I use for real in my garden, they are all linked down below in the video description in my Amazon storefront link. Link. So check out my Amazon storefront to see everything I use in real life in my garden. And while you're down in the video description, check out my Spreadshop link for custom merch if you want to support the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. It's time to summon the beast. Oh, here he comes. That was fast, Dale. Record timing. Time for a potty break. Time for a potty break. We're gonna have a nice day today, buddy. We got a nice rain last night, and we actually have the first cool front of the summer. It looks so beautiful out.